What's up? Hey, we're going to do a recording of this round, so let's get started. Uh, hole number one, we're going to, we know we have a seven and a half mile an hour tailwind to nine and a half mile an hour. So we're going to bring our Apocalypse and our Saturn. And if we're lucky, our putter. And we're going to start with the Berserker. Let's go. Looks like we'll be taking uh, something similar to the Santo shot. Nine and a half. Do this. All right, now the problem is, is we don't have enough distance. So I'm thinking we'll go ahead and try to do that, but then aim it over here, and then move it 5, 10, 15, 20, about right there. And see what we can do. Yeah, that was pretty ugly. But at least we're not in the trees. This is going to be a tough one, guys. I'm thinking we can take uh, all the spin off and make that angle a little bit better. All the side spin that is. Okay, next shot was is with Nirvana. It looks like the wind is going to be at about two o'clock, about 11 mile an hour. So we just want to get it on the green, get it close for our eat our birdie. But let's see what a full backspin shot can do to get close. Ah! Dude. Yeah, you might be able to make it. Alright, so at max distance, it's about 10 rings. At this distance, it's about 5 rings. Let's go... Right at five rings. And we'll see what happens. Oh, that was good. Come on, baby. Roll. Don't hit it great. Anyway, we got the bird. So I think after this hole, I'm going to start pausing it because there's lots of sitting here, unless you like the music. Nice roll, nice roll. Okay, I have missed a putt, similar to this. So let's hope we can hit it perfect. Oh, the lag! Ah! And that's why I missed it earlier. You release it and it just keeps right on going. Hmm. 
All right, golf nut, let's see if we can get that shootout hole where I can show off the Guardian just a little bit. Nope. All right, so guys, this one, you need one top spin, full right spin. You want to aim it at the hole. With plenty of room to bounce. And then we're going to go an extra two, so we're going to go ten, let's see, about twelve and a half, and it's a slight overpower, I think, just to make sure we get over. And hit it great. So I think we're going to bounce over at least, but the great puts us a little bit further from the hole than we want. So the main thing to remember is to take uh, one to one plus one, but since it's a straight headwind, take an extra one, so that's plus two. And uh, it looks like it's pushing you left, so maybe a little bit of right curl would have been would have been nice, but hitting it perfect would have definitely got me close. This is actually the rookie approach uh, that I'm taking this week that he's playing right now, but I'm doing it with a very, very low level club and uh, it's getting pretty close as well. That should do it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I didn't count the rings he took, but it did look like he only took about five or six. So, good luck, sir. See you soon. Alrighty, on to hole two. We've changed up our clubs. Believe it or not, I'm going to take the sniper and go one-to-one -one on the rings, plus one. Uh, it's a straight left side wind, so I don't like the, uh, the rough bump approach because it's very scary if you miss. Um, I would say take a katana or a wind ball, uh, you know, as cheap as you want to go. But I'm going to go ahead and take the kingmaker for now. Uh, one back spin, two left spin, and see if I can aim it just short of the hole with the sniper. Okay, I'm going to pause past, past this. Alrighty, here we go. 7.7. .7. We go one down, two left. See, the one good thing about the ball guide on the sniper is it goes a little bit further. And then, like I said, 7.7, .7, so we're going to go 8.7. See what happens. I know the Guardian did pretty good. Ah! So at least the good news is we're on the green, guys. It's gonna work out okie dokie. And you don't have to worry about chipping in from the rough or the sand. Alright, let me pause. I don't I don't want to take all day. Okay, now I'm unpausing because it looks like my opponent is doing the shot that normally I would I would think is a great opportunity, but you have to get the rings just right. It's a three up, three right, rough bump. Gets you really close if you, as long as you hit that uh, that target right there in the rough. Let's see what happens. Good job. There we go, guys. That's the shot that works. I was just afraid of the wind. So, good luck, sir. Oh, wait a minute. Well played. 
Alrighty, here we are at hole three. And by the way, that was someone from the 19th Sanctum. Awesome job, dude. Uh, anyway, we're gonna switch over back to the APOC 6 and Guardian. You can use extra mile seven and up. Uh, you can use Sniper or Guardian, your choice. Um, I don't suggest going to the Big Dog or Cat. You don't really need it. And then uh, Kingmaker is fine. It's going to be a straight side wind. The main thing to remember here is to play it downhill. So if uh, normally you would take, let's say for 10 mile an hour, you would take about eight rings uh, with the APOC 6, eight and a half. Add one extra ring at least. So let's see what we got going on here. Uh, let's see, 7.9 ish. Yeah, 7.9 ish is going to be about six rings. So take that extra ring. Go ahead and do one more. It's much more important when you have a tailwind or a a headwind, but still, your ball's going to go further than you think. Alright, Mr. Walnut. Whew, Marlin. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to try uh, with the Power 5 ball with my APOC 6, so let's change plans here. Let's, uh, let's see if we can reach with the uh, Berserker, that next fairway over there, and do what I talked about with the Super Slice. I'm concerned about those trees, though. Oh well, we'll fail together the first day. Looks like you go over those, so that's good. That's the safe shot. And I may just stick with the safe shot. I don't know. I, I have to see it. Swap the ball and see. Yeah, it's too much side wind, guys. I'm not going to go for it. I'm going to back it, back it down to about four top spin. Right about there. And then uh, 8.9 is actually more wind. Let's say about seven and a half rings. Not much curl. All right, YouTube, I want you to know that this is NCS Live. Please do not give me a strike and make me remove this song, even though it seems like I always have to. Here, let me go ahead and just change it because I don't want five minutes of silence. Oh, he's just gonna go on across. Um, I, I don't like this wind because uh, it makes you move over into the trees. But I have seen someone get really close, aiming from the severe right side, right there. Wow, that's some coil. I was about to say put a little bit of left curl on there, but don't go crazy. Yeah, he needed maybe two or three backspin. Let's see, am I still recording? Yes, okay. Alright, let's see. From right here... Just take most of that backspin off. All right, we're just gonna go one to one. Oh, that's ugly. Let me get up here a little bit and just put some more curl on it.
Come on, baby. Yeah, a little bit too much curl. But I had the right spin on it with a little bit of left curl so that you're, you're not bouncing it into the tree, but at the same time, you want it to turn right as soon as possible at the second bounce. This is actually the putt that I missed, right here. But it was a little bit further away. But it was, in my opinion, it was due to lag. I did nothing wrong, in my opinion. Still hit it great. But we got the eagle, we're gonna move on. But let's see the shootout real quick. I'm still thinking of the first hole when I had way too much uh, curl and uh, side spin. Uh, that's the first time I got to play it with APOC 6. Yeah, let's just do this one. Uh, I'm thinking less curl now as opposed to less spin. Go about 9.7 and hit it great again. Is that what this hole's gonna do to us? Great every time. Slow down, ball. Well, you know, Grace's not really hurting me. Might be uh, two back and uh, one and a half extra. If I had had the sniper in the bag, I would have definitely tried for that uh, rough bump. Three top, three left, or three right. I've seen it go in twice now. With two different wins. <clears throat> you can still make it. So, alright guys, I'll see you soon. Okay, was that soon enough? Alright, so next hole, hole four. Uh, ran into a problem the first time I, I saw this. Uh, I didn't have enough power, even though I had a power three ball. So we're switching. Uh, by the way, you need the Guardian, uh, for my approach, you need the Guardian over the Sniper because of distance. But you also need a, um, you, you need a power four ball. But I'm going to go ahead and take a win four power three because I was just up against the edge. So let's see what happens. Okay, so I paused it for a second. Uh, this is going to be a one top spin, full right spin, straight at the whole shot. Uh, he's going to use the driver, it appears, and go from the oh, the right side. Okay. To me, this one's the least consistent as far as getting in the hole. It's really a lottery shot, but it is pretty safe to get on the green. Back that music down just one. <laughs> so I'm assuming his ball guy to aim straight at the hole, but he overdid it just a little bit. Okay, this one unfortunately is a little tricky. I say full right spin. There ain't much right spin on this ball. So, looks like we're going to have to come over here a little bit more, which is dangerous. Dangerous. Alright, so let's go uh, at least 8.7. Let's go ahead and take 9. No! It's the same problem. Alright, it's an overpower shot. Can't go back now.
great might keep me on the green. So I don't suggest this ball in the future because it doesn't have enough right spin. So what I'll probably end up doing is going to a power four ball, uh, but I need to find one with some good spin on it. And on this account, I don't have that many options. So it might be a fireworks ball or something. But worst case scenario, you can either play it differently or uh, just overpower your kingmaker just a little bit. All right, so we have a tailwind. So we just want to put it the last bounce right in front of the cup. And we're going to go 8.7. So that's uh, about that. And then we're going to underpower and curl it just a little bit. neat thing about curling it is it rolls on the left side of the hole and it rolls back towards it. The underpower was very important. I mean, with that wind ball, come on. You should be able to zone this one in. Come on, get in the hole. And a little too much backspin. So, all right, guys, see you on the next hole. Alrighty then, hole five. We're going to switch. Now, you can do this with an extra mile, seven or eight. Uh, I'm actually concerned that my APOC 6 will go too far, but I'm going to go ahead and let it let it go. Uh, with my extra mile 8, I was able to get to an Embringer uh, approach with the Kingmaker, so let's see what happens. Alrighty! Tea time! Yeah, beautiful win, guys. Beautiful win. I don't understand why someone would bring a win five ball, okay, and a quarterback. But we'll see what his plan is. I guess he's going left. But it's so easy to do it from the right with this tailwind. All right, so my opponent does pretty nice shot. And rolls off. So, okay. If you're going to be in the rough, you might as well be in the rough close to the hole. So, let's see how close I can get to the hole. Eight and a half. Uh, I'd like to say even a Titan with an extra mile, seven or eight, might be better. But look at this. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Full top. Go about half-ish on the curl. Uh, that great right might be better for me. We'll see. Yeah, full top spin's fine. Uh, if you have an extra mile eight, just bring the Titan. You can still get nice and close. Now, this next shot's kind of tricky. Uh, I'm literally playing at no elevation and moving it to the max Embringer and then backing it up. So, aim at the cup from max distance. 
still almost a straight tailwind, maybe a little bit of side wind mixed in. Come on, baby, get in the hole. Close. I'm a little further right than I want to be. <laughs> and I'm actually too close. Okay. Let's just do this. Two backspin, aim it in the cup. Uh, it's about 80%. So let's go about eight rings. When you're at exact max club, it's so much easier to adjust. Ah! A little bit more than eight would have been good, but it'll work. This eagle, uh, with that approach, is it's gonna be about 50% of the time you're going in the hole, assuming you uh, adjust right, but it's, it's something you can depend on on the weekend so uh, see you next hole all right here we go hole number six uh, I didn't show you guys the clubs but I'm using the same ones uh, basically I'm sticking with the APOC and the Guardian I would like to say it's probably a better idea uh, if you're in rookie to bring the horizon if you're in pro and expert to bring the uh, sniper and this this shot I'm not sure with an extra mile eight I'm fine here possibly need a Titan but I, I don't think so but we're just gonna go ahead and uh, move it over about there we want our seven rings to the left kind of in kind of in front of us and then this is important half curl Great right might be better than great left. We'll see. Make sure I'm recording. Check. Yeah, don't forget that half curl, guys, because you can roll off the left side. Guest 776-0008. Okay, here's the extra mile eight with the white ball. Uh, it could be done. It's just, uh, you know, a little scary. He had a little bit more tailwind than I did, but his good shot is going to be nothing but trouble. Okay. Now, like I said, the next shot, the smarter thing to do would be to bring your sniper and do a rough bump. But when has anyone ever called me smart? We're just going to put the second bounce at the cup. Move it exactly 8.2. And last time I did this, I hit the pin and bounced off. And that time I was damn eh, I mean, close. Uh, the reason my 8.2 was too much in this case was because I hit it further this time. So be mindful if uh, if you're at the shorter end of the club, take just a little bit off. It's it's really going to be touchy feely though. Uh, you know, unless you want to get a calculator and uh, ruler out and measure everything, all I can say is you'll be close. It will go in from time to time, but that's that's why I said the uh, the ball guide of the sniper uh, will definitely you know you can hone it in, whereas this one's kind of a guessing game. And that's with the rough bump. I wouldn't suggest doing the rough bump with the guardian because it doesn't have quite enough top spin. KB. 
Uh, been there, sir. Been there. At least you didn't waste a, an expensive ball. Alright guys, see you on the next hole. Alrighty, here we are. Hole 7. And I'm not changing anything. I'm going to keep the Kingmaker and the Guardian in. Uh, I just feel more comfortable with this shot going from the right. So here we go. All right, so like I said, the plan is as much backspin as possible, as much left spin as possible. Uh, we're going to go to the right of the sand trap and do about a quarter curl. All right, let my opponent go first. Uh, I hate this, this wind for this hole because it takes out my Goliath or my B-52 opportunity. You basically have to move up to a sniper. Uh, or guardian, and then then you have to figure out your backspin. Yeah, you know, it's probably going to be about two backspin, and then some curl on it. So, to me, too many people are hitting it in the sand trying to figure it out. It's not worth it. And he gets plenty of distance. Looking good. Uh, you hit it great, sir. So I won't give you full credit. But, uh, yeah, okay, well played. Alright, so, I'm at about mid-club, but it is 10% downhill, so believe it or not, that equals about 1 to 1. And we want to put it right here, back it up just a little bit. That was my problem before, is I didn't back it up a little bit. You want about the same distance as the hole. Uh, maybe I did take just a little bit more, so we're going to take about 8 total, because it is downhill, and then only a quarter curl. Ah! But I, I'm pretty sure hitting it great is trouble. Yeah, that could have been in the sand, so I did back it up. But uh, it looks like backing it up was not the issue. Still just a little too much curl. And I know that's hard to see during the, during the shot what exactly it did, but it basically hops and then bounces uh, from the right, right side towards the hole. And you just have to find that special place. And to me, it's going to be easier to zone in, uh, dial it in over the weekend and maybe find that special spot. Uh, so let me start over and say one to one plus uh, anywhere from half to a whole, whole extra ring. All right, we have a tailwind again, so we can use our guardian shot just to get close. Uh, the sniper is definitely the three top spin, three three right spin. Uh, rough bump is looks like the best way to go here. And he's not taking it, but that's okay. So far, so good. Yeah, that extra roll is what gets you. Alright, let's see if I can get a little closer. All the way. Alright, so my, my last bounce is actually in front of the hole. I'm going to take 8.6. And then a little bit of curl and under power. And hit it great as usual. Wow, that under power got me. Good luck, sir. Alright guys, see you on the next hole. Ooh, that was close. 
Alrighty, hole eight. The, not the exact worst wind you could have, but still, not very good wind. Uh, because I have the Apocalypse 6, I'm going to go for the uh, the left side full backspin, and it's roughly a quarter curl. So this will be my first time trying it. We'll see how it goes with just a Kingmaker. And I may find I need a power four ball. We'll see. Just a little, little more consistent for me than the, uh, the bouncing and across. All right, Apoc four. He's going to go across. I'm sure. It's probably going to put me into a full overpower shot, and I don't like those. But at the same time, um, I don't know that that hopping over. Because you have all that headwind, it's very hard to get your second bounce right. Oh, wow, he's going to hop over left approach. Let's hope he doesn't bounce into the uh, the rough on his second bounce here. I think great's probably better for him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, almost, almost! Yeah, that's what happened to me. Uh, because I didn't have a good enough club. All right, so looks like I have enough. All right, we want to start here, and it's eight point three, so we want to go about seven and a half rings. So five, seven and a half, and it looks like it's not full overpower. Looking okay so far. Oh, not enough. Should have full overpowered that baby. Yes, I know. Take off some backspin, which means you can do it with an extra mile eight. Oh, now we got a tough one. Straight side wind chips. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, I, if I learned a lesson there, it was, hey, dude, headwind, don't need all that backspin. Or I should have full overpowered it into the middle of the fairway. Oh, so close. Well, let's hope I can pull this one off. Straight side wind, 9.1. Woo! Uh, 50% of my club. So that's about four and a half. Now I'm taking one more look at it. It's dangerous, guys. If I'm going to miss, it's not going to be by much. Not by much. <laughs> so holy got me. So lesson learned, guys. Uh, take a couple of backspin off if you're going to do the shot I did. Well played, sir. Sorry, Danielle. Uh, that's a reference to a tournament I'm in with Miss Danielle as my partner, and this is the account I'm bringing. So, hopefully it's just the weekend that matters. Okay, still have a tailwind. This is actually an awesome opportunity for that three top spin three right spin sniper rough ball. Hmm. 
Yeah, maybe I'll just try it anyway. Let's see how close he gets. I mean, I could take the safe shot, but I've already shown you guys that. Let's go ahead and let's try the rough bump. Three top, three right. Uh, the ball guy's not as good as the sniper, but we'll just do that. And maybe take it eight and a half, because I am further back. Uh, guys, it appears this is a pretty good shot. <clears throat> so, maybe I'll just stick with that. I just didn't want to switch to the sniper. So, good luck, sir. <laughs> Birdie. <laughs> Alright, see you on the next hole. Okay, speaking of holes I hate, this hole is driving me nuts. I'm just basically to the point where I'm just going to whack the you-know-what out of it and see what happens. Uh, Mr. Santos and your rough bump? Yeah, good luck hitting the rough. It's, uh, it's, it's flying like 40 or 50% past where I'm hitting it, so I'm just going to whack it hard and bring it on in with my Nirvana and go from there. Yeah, going left also uh, let me down way too many times during the last tournament because I found myself either in the rough or my drive wasn't long enough. So, let's see what he can do. He's good. Still not the easiest shot. But you might be able to... I mean, you should be able to get in from there if you brought the big dog. But I'm keeping the uh, Guardian in because I probably won't get a chance to use it. Uh, let's see. I'm not quite sure what to do here. I just know that the far, if I get that first bounce, I'll be fine. And even if I don't get that first bounce, I can still full overpower Nirvana. So let's see what happens. Actually, I want to hit a great left here. <laughs> what you want to do and what you're going to do aren't always this. Oh man, that was close. So, but don't worry, guys. I did that on purpose. I, I, I actually thought I was going to fly the fairway. Uh, because I think I can get in now with my Nirvana. It's it's hopefully taking the birdie out of the uh, the options here. I'm still working on that, but apparently, uh, if I had hit it perfect, I might have just tapped the fairway. And you know, I can always take just a little bit off the power, but I needed to see what it was going to do full over power. But with that good, um, it almost seemed like I was right at the fairway as opposed to past it. All right, good shot, but very rarely does that go in, and that's fine. Here we go, here we go. Can he reach? Well, because I have a tailwind... All right, what is 11.9? Goodness gracious. Uh, it's about 
nine and a half rings ish. As long as I don't hit the garbage, which I did! You have to hit it perfect. You have to hit it perfect. Alright, here comes a bird. Sorry, Danielle. Yeah, I, I guess what that tells me is to not back it up. Just move it sideways. Go ahead and go. Uh, get, get to a safe spot. Now, obviously, if I'd hit that perfect, I'd be on the green. Obviously. Not expecting this to go in because you gotta hit perfect. Ah, Should have just aimed it at the hole. All right, guys. Well, that's my first playthrough for Expert. Uh, couldn't do it live, so I did it in pieces. And uh, hopefully, I'll be able to upload this, and you'll you'll either learn what to do or what not to do. So, catch you soon. Oh, one more thing. Uh, in honor of RJ, uh, I answered a question for him. Uh, do do bears actually go to the bathroom in the woods? Here's my answer for him. Okay, well, I hope that answered it for you guys, and I'll see you soon.